Classically, yes, but in the modern era, fortunately not. Um, I've been performing breast augmentation surgery for 15 years, and in that time, I'm pleased to say I've only ever experienced one rupture, and ironically, that was the first implant that I put in. Um, 15 years ago, we were using a slightly different generation of breast implants. Uh, we're now into the fifth generation of implants. They're made of better shells, better materials, better gels, um, and we don't have the classic symptoms problem where they used to rupture. Um, like any mechanical device or medical device, it can fail. And classically, up to about 10% of, of implants used to fail at 10 years. And then the rupture rate is normally 1% per year thereafter. There may be other reasons why the, the implants may need to be removed and or replaced in, in addition to rupture. For example, fluid formation around the implant, contracture of the capsule, or patients have decided that they wish to have them removed. Um, but classically, with the modern implants have performed in an expert manner by a board certified surgeon, um, the lifespan of the implants is certainly more than 10 years now. Um, it's probably up to 15 years or possibly even longer. We would, however, recommend the patients do get an ultrasound scan in order to um, exclude rupture, which is maybe contained within the scar layer or the capsule around the implant or may have leaked into the tissues. I so say with the modern cohesive gels, they shouldn't leak and they shouldn't run even the presence of, in, of rupture but it is worth having a, an implant check at 10 years with or without an ultrasound scan just to make sure that the integrity of the implant is still intact. Um, and then um, obviously if you've had a trauma or an injury or if you notice that something's changed even before 10 years, again, it's worth getting it checked out with ideally your original surgeon or any plastic surgeon um, and ideally with an ultrasound scan. Ultrasound scan is normally the first line of investigations but they tend to be a bit oversensitive and they tend to have a false positive rate. That means they tend to indicate that there's a rupture when there isn't. So um, it's a first line investigation, but sometimes you may need to do um, an MRI in a dedicated machine with a breast coil. Um, and that's the gold standard in order to make sure that the implants have or haven't ruptured. Even though I've mentioned that, that we expect that the lifespan to be probably out to 15 years, it probably is sensible and safe at 10 years to have a breast implant check um, with or without an ultrasound, just to make sure that the, um, particularly um, with the older style implants, that there isn't potential for rupture. Um, a rupture could have happened and, and, and you may not have any symptoms. Similarly, you may have symptoms associated with a rupture, or you may have symptoms which, um, which suggest you may have a rupture, but turn out that your implant is actually intact. Uh, in the presence of an, in, an intact implant, either on ultrasound or clinical examination, unless there's any other problems, for example, capsule contracture, implant malposition, we'd normally recommend that the implant be left intact.